enemy starborn, human mercenaries, alien creatures, whatever it takes to stop us. I'll meet you there. Be ready. Organic uh, valuable minerals, perhaps. Oh, friend. The hunter will be below with the final artifact. His allies will be throwing everything they have at us. Be on your guard. The temple is below. The Starborn here often lure mercenaries to this point to act as an additional line of defense. I doubt any of the people who built this complex knew what they were guarding or how quickly they'd be disposed of. It is close to the Unity. The artifact and the temple here are one, unlike the others you have found that are separated from each other. You'll feel it as we get further. The power of the artifact seeps through the seams of reality here. The Starborn here are powerful. They will hold nothing back. Even the dead can be made to fight for them. Many of my kind aren't above making use of machines. They had this military base built for a reason. Yes? Back to it then. Enterprising Starborn lured human mercenaries here. They built this facility. Another layer to get past before we can reach the temple. Expect more Starborn along the way.
always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
You're not walking out of here. Best not to leave anything useful behind.
anomaly? The temple's artifact is reacting to old fighting. It might be the only way through. Okay, you. You're up. Something goes wrong in there? We'll come get you. Why would anything go wrong? Shouldn't we... Would you shut up? You all right? That was a shift in space-time, a dip into the multiverse. We'll have to go through a few more to reach the center. Both? Neither. Something much like yours, I suspect. A beginning, a regret, or a surprise. All right. Keep yourself steady. shift in space-time, a dip into the multiverse. We'll have to go through a few more to reach the center. Something much like yours, I suspect. All right. Keep yourself steady.
I assume that reactor is the main source of power for this entire facility. You didn't tell me we have visitors. We have visitors. Welcome. What's mine is yours. Well, no, it's still mine, but you get what I mean. Now, how am I supposed to take a strange comment like that? Is this some kind of... some kind of... You don't deserve the final artifact. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief, an opportunist, a liar. It's more than credits that the Unity will demand of you. You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Guards! Where are you? Hey, what the hell is that? I don't Come on, you can make it! Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon! 
No. No! I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. What the? Crixus ghost! What kind of cruelty is this? This some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? Multiple universes? You're a visitor jumping through the gates of space and time? Not sure if you're just a reflection of a shattered brain, but okay, I get your meaning. Well, ghost from the other side, I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend. Spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something.
too surprised you made it this far. Serves me right for not being convincing enough. <laughs> Is this where you give your big speech? <laughs> Let's hear it. I just wanted to see if you could surprise me. You're failing. You want me to hope for a better future?
lifetimes. All those universes. Only to have an end like this. Winner takes all these different is it not? Hello. That is all? Very well. You've done it. The temple's artifact is yours. No, this was your victory. You've proven that you're ready to enter the Unity. I know we aren't from the same universe, but it kind of feels like old times. Here, all the artifacts I've gathered. The armillary in your ship. Power up your grab drive. It'll take care of the rest. You'll see the glory of our multiverse and your place in it. And you'll be asked to make a choice. I'll say no more. I would speak to them before you go. No. My place is in this universe now. That's a difficult question. You might as well be asking, when is the Unity? Why does the Unity exist, or how does the Unity truly work? It's not a fixed place in space-time. You'll be... Well, you'll have more luck understanding when you get there. Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer congratulatory statements. Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But Given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely. Given that the Starborn encounters have so far not included any robots, the safe assumption is that I will need to remain behind. If we do not see each other again, goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. Are you?
quite sure you don't want to hold on to that. So, the unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know can lead to a better place. Constellation has given me a home, and I will always be grateful. But I also feel... ready. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? I do too. But the emissary makes me doubtful. They are both the person we lost and someone else entirely. If we do not see each other again, then this is goodbye. I am proud that I was present for this journey. If you are free soon, could we talk? I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. We spoke of the difference between having a purpose and having goals. I believed myself right in the moment and dismissed what you were saying. But thinking more, perhaps I have been arrogant to assume I am right. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary, that there was no other option. I have sacrificed much to be where I am now. And... Uh, I'm starting to wonder if it has been worth it. Doubts have never been... something I would consider. I have told you that I am not one to discuss my past. And yet... No, that is not what I am trying to say. I... promised to provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers to procure supplies we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home. Jumping from one planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. This is true, but I have only experienced my own. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had, maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when circumstances meant I, I might never see them again. With no warning. Until now I have disagreed strongly with that idea. But therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from others. I appreciate that more than you know.
Will we be stopping for food? I would not mind trying something, and there are plenty of options. Is something amiss? Ah, yes, we are done. I not spend as much time here as some of the others, but I appreciate that I was still given my own room. We did it! We have all the artifacts! Tip your ear for a moment. I can't wait to get to the Unity! I've been reading all about Parallel Universe Theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. You think it's okay if I call them Korra too? You're right. We shouldn't assume that just because they're the second us we see, that they somehow didn't exist before. Look, Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? That's what Dad said. I feel... kind of bad, you know? That I want to go anyway? I'm sure gonna miss the Lodge, but I can't wait to see what happens next. Ah, still need to lift another set today. Been dragging, shoulder stiff. Ah, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. I'm just an old blade in the dark trying to make good. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. Uh, don't know about that. Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the Troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Did you know Walter is one of the So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled, and the Starborn assure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Funny. I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm... hesitating. I know that. And believe me, I feel it. The destiny of it all. But after that... What happens? Say we go to the Unity, become Starborn, enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. I really turned you into a true believer, didn't I? Oh. What have I done? Ah, all right. Let's get back to it. One more jump into the unknown. Spend so much time looking at the scans. Have a second, friend? I've thought about it, and as much as I would love 
to see the unity the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it, I'm not coming with you. Thank you. I know this is probably coming as a surprise. I think I need to look for my answers here, in this universe. And I can't leave my parents. I know they would understand, but they're not getting any younger. You too. I know I'm flaking out at the end, but I'm glad I was a part of all this. There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. I have thoughts. There is nothing that an entrepreneurial mind can fail to commoditize. With enough time and effort, of course. To give you a preview. A theme park would be too garish, but if we're lucky, and the journey to the Unity can be replicated? Well... Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was, well, poor. Thank you for that. But I'd be lying to myself if I didn't admit it was a part of me. And I have no desire to find out who I am without it. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks. Bring light into the darkness of the unknown. to return to your ship. Captain on deck. Tired of staring at it. Eternity. It's natural that your mind would go there. 
and it's not a simple question to answer. You stand now at the very center of space and time. Center being the best word to grant you understanding, but still not entirely accurate. The unity is what was, what is, and what shall be. It is nowhere and everywhere, nothing and everything. It is the unity. Any other meaning is entirely up to you, all of you. Everyone says that when they hear themselves for the first time. But no, you don't sound like this. At least, not this you. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Do you feel dead? You are energy, and energy cannot be destroyed. Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time,
The emissary remains in this universe. But your faith in them inspires them to seek out those they believe are worthy of finding the unity. Many noble Starborn will be reborn under their guidance.